Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we will be modeling plates, a couple different kinds, and we will take some things into consideration when we're making them for games. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content. Now let's jump right in. All right, let's model these plates. So we're going to make a round plate and a square plate. And before we start, I've included a link with some references for you guys. And I'll also try and explain everything at least once um, so that um, it's easy to follow along. But if you get a little lost or you fall a little bit behind, um, I also have a beginner series that you might want to check out. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna put a cylinder in the scene and here's our cylinder. And one of the things we want to establish and figure out early is how round we want our plate to be. Because a cylinder has 20 divisions by default. And as you can see, um, you can see that angle change. So not having enough will break that immersion if you're looking for realism. If you're doing something for a low end device or a low poly game, you can certainly decrease even those um, subdivisions. So here's my cylinder. If I press T on the keyboard, I can decrease that or I can increase it. So what I'm going to do is um, increase it. If you were to, um, if you're planning to subdivide it later, like doing sub demodeling, you could keep it pretty low, but I think I'm just gonna um, increase it early. So I'm gonna bring it to 40. All right, now let's load in our references. So I'm gonna tap the space bar to go into, well, it's supposed to go in the four panel view, there we go. Um, and then here we are um, in the top view, hovering over that, tapping the space bar again. And then up here, I'm gonna select image plane. Then I'm gonna choose um, the round plate top view. There you go, and then click open. And here is, um, our object, I'm gonna turn on x-ray mode just so I can see through it. And the object is um, a little bit bright. I can adjust that though. I can go into the attribute editor and lower the alpha gain. And I'm gonna click on this and just lower it. Sometimes when you do this, um, it doesn't work and you'll have to um, switch between these and back, go back and forth until it works. There we go. Um, but it worked for us. Okay, I'm gonna tap the space bar. Um, I'm also gonna load in the side view, why not? Tapping the spacebar in the side view. Go to image plane and round plate side view. There you go, and open that. Okay, so I'm also gonna turn on wireframe unshaded and turn on x-ray. Tapping the spacebar again to go back into perspective. And I don't need to see these references in um, this view. So I'm gonna select my image um, and then right beside display, click on that circle, and now it's just looking through one of the cameras. It'll look through the camera that you placed it in, which is the side view. You can change it, but we'll leave it. And now it's no longer in the perspective view. And we'll do the same for the other one. There we go. And now I'm gonna select on our cylinder, and I only need the top faces. So I'm gonna go into um, face selection by holding down the right mouse button, selecting face, I'm gonna delete all these bottom faces by doing a drag select, so that box select, and then I'm gonna press delete. All right, um, let's go back into object mode. So I'm holding the right mouse button, back to object mode, and you can see that um, our pivot is at the center of where the cylinder was, and we can reset that. So clicking up here to reset the pivot, and then I wanna bring this to the origin. So I'm gonna hold down X, Drag this down just to snap it to the origin. There we go. All right, I'm gonna tap the space bar to go back into our top view. And if you look in this view, um, I'm pressing Q to go into selection, um, select tool. You can see that the bottom of the plate starts here. There's an inner circle and then slopes up a little bit and then slopes out. So in the side view, you might be able to see it easier, right? Slopes up and then comes out. So let's start with um, extruding. Actually, first we'll scale it to matches that bottom circle. And then I'm gonna select 
the outside perimeter edge, so going into edge mode. Um, to go into edge mode, you have to be actually over your object, so holding down the right mouse button, select edge, and then double click on that edge. So we have that outside perimeter edge. And then what I wanna do is offset that, so extrude it out. So I'm gonna hold down shift, hold down the right mouse button to go to extrude, or if you prefer, you're not used to the marking menu yet, you can get to it from here. So um, extrude. That's the modeling toolkit. All right, let's extrude, and then I'm gonna increase the offset till it reaches that, around that um, second lip. Okay, gonna press G to repeat, and then I'm gonna offset again till it gets to here. Then I'm gonna tap the space bar, go into the, I guess the, this view is fine. I'm just gonna lift that up um, here. And then what, what I wanna do is lift up the interior as well. Take this one, press W and lift that. And I'll need to probably go into the side view just to have a bit of a, a reference. Um, because this is a, has a bit of perspective, I'm not even gonna bother scaling it. Um, because we we're not really modeling it to match the side, but I will use it to kind of get a gauge of how these slopes are looking. So I'm going to raise that up a little bit, and then I'm going to select the um, top edges and lift that up a little bit. And then let's go back into the perspective view and take a look at it. I think that looks pretty decent. Looks like a plate. All right, now we just need to extrude it. So I'm going to go into um, object mode, select the object, hold down shift, hold down the right mouse button, and extrude. And just give it some thickness. I think that works. And now let's take a look at it. Go into the object mode, and I'm going to turn off wireframe on shaded. It looks pretty decent. We're losing a bit of that definition, that highlight in the middle and the edge also needs to be beveled. So let's deal with the middle first. So there's a couple ways to um, give the sh um, plate detail. One is through texturing, another is through normal maps. But in this case, I think we can afford the geometry. I'm just gonna bevel these edges. Holding down shift, double clicking this one as well, and then um, bevel, there we go. I just need to reduce the fraction. Now let's take a look at it. And I think that gives us that kind of break in that smoothness that we need. All right, now let's deal with the outside edge. So I'm going to go into edge, mo edge mode again, double click on this one, hold down shift, double click on this one, and then I'm gonna bevel. There you go. And I'm gonna play with the fraction. I think that is pretty good. Let's go back into object mode and have a look. Looks pretty good. Um, when you bevel, by the way, sometimes it hardens those edges, or usually it does. And so we just need to soften everything. So let's select all the edges, hold down shift, hold down the right mouse button, and then we can go to soften harden and then soften edge. And now we can just take a look. And the edges is soft. And at about this viewing distance, I think it um, can sell the idea of a plate pretty well. That roundness, I mean. All right. And now let's name it. Go into the outliner. Double click on it. And we'll call it plate round. And then what we'll do is we'll hide our plate. We'll also hide the two image planes that we had for it. And now we'll work on the square plate. So. Close the outliner, and let's load in the square images first. So I'm tapping the space bar. Let's go into the top view. We don't even really need to expand this view, but um, I'm going to load up the image plane. So I'm going to go look for the square plate top view. There we go. And that's our image. And then let's load it in the side view as well. Square plate, side view. OK. And we'll open it up. Go back into here. The perspective and let's hide these ones. So I'm selecting the image, attribute editor, click on 
right beside display, that little circle, and same thing with this one. Um, yeah, let's just hide it for now. You can keep it there if you like, but I'm just gonna hide mine. And now I want to um, throw in a plane. We could put in a cube and delete the faces and move the pivot, but the plane's already at the origin, and all I need to do now is press T on the keyboard to bring in that tool window of the plane, and I can drag these subdivisions down. Right, back into object mode, tap the spacebar. Let's go to the top view. Again, let's lower this alpha of the image. So I'm selecting the image, lowering this, and if it doesn't work, just swap between in all views and go back to display, and now it should work. It's just a little bug. All right, now I'm gonna select the object, and I'm gonna scale it up so that it matches the bottom of the plate. I think that's good. And then what I want to do next is go into the edge mode. So edge, um, select your edges, and then hold down shift, hold down the right mouse button to go to extrude. And then I want to offset that. Okay, now we have our edges. I'm gonna tap the space bar. I'm gonna go, I have an idea of what that looks like, but I can leave that open and just bring these edges up. So, I think that's pretty good, maybe a little bit higher. There we go. I'm gonna tap the space bar again. And here we go, we have our pretty much our plate. Next, we need to bevel these interior edges. So I'm gonna, I'm still in edge mode, so I can select all these edges. And let's bevel it. I'm going to reduce the fraction, and what we're looking for now is one to kind of match our top reference, so we'll probably have to go back to that for a second. Right. Around here is good. And then what we need to do is increase these subdivisions to round out the top a little bit, or these segments. But yeah, it's adding subdivisions, and I think three is pretty good. Gives it that rounded look. Tapping the spacebar, going back to here, and I think that's pretty reasonable. And then now we will go into object mode. So I'm holding down the right mouse button, mouse button, selecting their object, and then I'm gonna extrude it. So holding down shift, holding holding down the right mouse button, go into extrude, and if I increase the thickness, you can see that um, as you increase it a lot, these vertices start crossing over. Um, which is fine because we don't need to extrude that much. But if you don't want to cross over and you want to extrude straight up, um, first undo, and then when you're after you've extruded, just press the W key, and now you can drag it up. And I think that should be pretty good for a plate. Um, now let's take a look at it. We have the um, the ridges here, the the form, the lines here that we need and now we just need to um, bevel the exterior the the perimeter i'm double clicking on the top edge gonna double click on the bottom one making sure that it's all selected and then go to bevel so shift right mouse button bevel and then let's just change the fraction a little bit to even it out I think that looks pretty good. Let's take a look. We're almost done, by the way. And then, yeah. And then again, we need to select all those edges and soften them out. So edge mode and soften. There you go. And now we have that square plate. Okay. Now let's take a look at um, our two plates. So I'm grabbing the square plate, I'm just gonna pull off to the side, open up our outliner. Let's name our plate. And then let's unhide that round plate. And here are our two plates. Um, just gonna close the outliner. They both do a pretty good job of resembling plates, right? Um, what I find um, 
interesting is that that square plate um, has a bit more realism. Um, it's a little more modern, so again, it doesn't it won't work in every setting. But uh, the round plate, I can kind of see where the perimeter starts um, bending, right? Changes direction, and um, what you'll notice though, even is the round plate, we have 800 triangles and the square plate only has 316. So that's something to consider if you're dressing up um, an environment, right? This one's a little bit cheaper, but we could have made this a little bit less expensive by maybe removing that second slope, right? That would have dropped it a little bit. And um, depending on the project, you might even want to smooth that more to give it more realism, right? So. Yeah, those are some things to consider when you're um, making your props, what your target is. Alright, our plates are all modeled, and in the next part, we will UV unwrap them. Hopefully this has helped you guys out. If it has, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. See you guys soon.